welcome back to my channel ladies so you will leave today's video with a game plan and kind of like an action plan on how to go about your beneficial dating journeys we are finally coming to an end of these shenanigans and by about early summer we should be living our lives again so this means that action and strategy must be put in place right now so now it's about using those brain cells and that logic to go about dating beneficially moving forward so if you're interested keep on watching so let's get into this okay so here's my mini introduction to get me on to the rest of the video because i was inspired to do this video by you ladies a few of you have actually commented or you've messaged me and you have said that you feel like you wasted 2019 and because of this whole stuff that's been happening you feel as though two years of your life have been wasted and you could have been doing x y and z and instead you didn't and now you feel stuck and you feel as though you are stagnant and that life really hasn't changed for you or it's actually regressed and that is such a horrible feeling to have so i don't want you to have that feeling moving forward now it's about grabbing life with both hands and really going for it living your life and this video is going to set you up with how to do that because if you find yourself never being approached if you find yourself never being able to date beneficially if you find yourself never being able to get the attention of men who you are actually interested in then your time is literally being wasted and that's why this action plan must be put into place so grab your notebook grab the grab your phone or something and let's write some stuff down okay because it's time to get this action plan going the first thing to write down on your list is the word locations because you literally have to plan the places that you are going to take yourself to to hopefully meet somebody who's going to approach you okay it's about going to certain venues so now is the time to start researching the locations the restaurants the areas the clothing stores the restaurants you know with like bar seating you can sit there if you're not eating or something um the clothing department stores that you're going to go to the upscale areas that you're going to go to now is the time to start planning and researching those places so that you're able to go there and know look this is where i'm going to go this week this is where i'm going to go that week this place actually has an event on that time i feel as though the guys who i'm wanting to attract might be at that event let me book my ticket now this is the time right now to start putting those wheels into motion and to start making those plans once you realize look these are the affluent areas in the city that i live in let me research the the events or the activities that are going on in the month of July. Let me research that now. Let me book myself a couple of tickets. Maybe there's a charity event that you want to go to. Maybe book that if charity events are going to be open at that time or do it in readiness. Maybe there's a huge department store. So if you're in London, then obviously Harrods is somewhere that you're going to be going to and you're going, you're going to make sure you're going to make sure that you walk around in Harrods. You're probably going to be going to some of the restaurants there. Maybe, I don't know, Brasserie of Light or something. So you're going to make sure that you're going to places that the men who you want to attract are going to. Okay, so it's about doing that research now so that when the time comes, you're not scrambling around. Oh, oh, I didn't research where to go. Oh, I'm just going to stay home today. I didn't research where to go. I'm just going to go to the same old dive that I used to go to 10 years ago. No, it's about researching where you can go now so that you can put those wheels into motion. Once you've done that and you have around 20 different places to go to 20 different things on your list then you can start moving on to other things because the location the venues the events that is first and foremost so research those places in your area see what's going on in your cities and then we're going to move on to the next step the next thing to look at is your demeanor because lots of you your demeanor is broken down you just feel so low in the in, in the dumps and it's just like can we just let's lift your energy right now okay because if you're going out you're ticking off the places on your list and you're going to these places but your 
mental is so bad and you feel as though I'm never going to be approached I don't feel comfortable here I don't feel like I look good enough I don't feel like I fit in it's just bad energy and I don't see you being approached on a day like that obviously anything can happen and that's the great miraculous thing about life is that you don't know what's going to happen next anything can happen and that is what makes life exciting but if you want to have the best chances go out on days when you are feeling your best go out on days when you do like your look when you do like your makeup when your outfit is looking really good and you're feeling confident in yourself those are the best days to go out so you're not going out scouting for men on those days when you are feeling amazing you must remember this your job is to live your best life and if going to affluent areas living your best life of course and if you're approached then that's amazing and if not then you've still lived your best life that day having a good time so it's literally still a win-win just remember that it's about having your mental in the right mind frame before you're going out on these days that you have planned the places that you're going to go to have your have your mind right before you actually go to these places okay some of you may combat that and say look but i'm in a lull right now every single day for me is a bad day if every single day for you is a bad day then i feel as though you must push yourself and do it regardless so if every day is a bad day pu push yourself and go regardless because you're going to have a bad day at home or you're going to have a bad day that could possibly turn into a better day if you go out so it's still you have nothing to lose at the end of the day and like I said before my motto from now on is what's the worst that could happen so literally what's the worst that could happen once you have your mentality in order and you know the places that you want to go to you have researched them now up and down left and right you know exactly where you want to go then you need to start thinking about your outfit choice and i am going to have more feminine makeover videos coming obviously i need to do one like presently for spring i want to do um you know the ones that i showed the the pics up here on the screen i want to do one of those and i also want to physically do a try on for you as well so if you do want those then thumbs up this video because then i'll i guess i'll try to get it out quicker if i feel like people actually care about that video so um yeah thumbs up if you want a, another feminine makeover video for spring a spring edition so once you have your look and you know what type of things you want to be wearing maybe at this point you are sick and tired of always wearing like the same types of things you're over zara you're over you know shein you're over, that's literally my fave shein is literally my bae right now i love shein i'm kind of like obsessed with it it's kind of weird but if you are over those like fast fashion places you might want to look at buying more luxury things so maybe like self-portrait or i don't know um zimmerman or something you might want to start looking at different boutiques to look at your outfit choices and your outfit selections instead just to kind of elevate your look a bit or wear something different to what other you know most women are wearing so it might just give you that extra boost and extra um buzz of confidence on those days when you are going out if you're wearing something like that obviously if your budget doesn't you can't afford to buy a dress for a thousand pounds then you can buy things that are pre-loved you know you can buy things on depop on vesitare is that how to say it i don't know i'll put it on the screen here vesitare collective or something you can buy things on there um outnet or outlet i don't know what it is i'll link everything that i'm talking about i'll link it in the description box this outfit prep and you know new purchases different choices of purchases this might help to get you into the mood and get you buzzing about it all so when you are going out there you're feeling more confident and you're looking more confident you're feeling better you're wearing more high quality things so maybe it's fitting you better and maybe that will do wonders and make that be your day so it's about really thinking about different ways to 
make every day be your day, if that makes sense. Once you've done that, you are improving your diction if you feel as though it needs to be improved. You're making sure that you're not going out with, you know, tatty nails. So you're always looking as done up as you possibly can and when I say done up I don't mean looking inappropriate for where you're going I just mean that you have put effort into your appearance you've put effort into your look you know you've got your perfume on you've added some accessories you know that that's what I mean you're not going out in dirty clothes you know you're going out wearing clean fresh clothes like just the basics I'm talking about and add more on top with makeup etc right but once you've done all of that i feel as though you have literally done almost as much as you possibly can do because it's not your job to go out there hunting men it's not your job to go out there tackling them and acting like you are a rugby player just to ask them for the, their number it's not about any of that it's about you making the most of yourself being in the best mental space possible knowing the places to go to or the areas to go to and being in those places when you're looking your best that's what it's about and once you're doing that that's when you'll have the best chances of being approached of being seen of being spoken to asked out by the types of men who you're you're actually interested in so just remember that and keep that in mind okay it's not your job to do the legwork it's not your job to do all the chasing it's your job to look the best that you can feel your best and go out into the areas that you know that men who you're interested in are going to be in so just make sure that with what you're wearing that you're not just following trends and that you're wearing things that will actually be pleasing to high quality men's eyes you know most of them are going to be middle-aged they're not into you wearing those furry fluffy slides they're not into you wearing those leggings they're not into you wearing like hoodies and stuff they're not into that they want to see women looking pretty looking cute looking sweet in dresses in skirts if you are wearing trousers then just make sure that they are ones that if, if you are wearing trousers, I guess, then just make sure that they look really nice on you. So just make sure that you're putting that extra dash of femininity into your look. That extra splash of, you know, something different. That extra sparkle into your, into your look. And that is going to entice people in. Now, the last thing that I want to point out is online dating. Because I know lots of you hate it. I have obviously had bad experiences I've done story times on them so you know some of my my worst um well you do know really all of my worst um times from online dating there's one story that happened to me this was years ago so it I feel as though it's not even relevant that you don't know about but everything else you do know of and I feel as though I've only had like four four maybe five bad experiences with online dating and there was one guy he kept on like making um references to my height saying how small I was and I just felt like it was he was doing too much like he said it so many times that's why I didn't bother to do a story time on it I felt like it wasn't story time worthy but including him and my other experience and the ones I've told you about I would say I've had about five bad experiences with online dating so for me I feel as though to minimize time being wasted it's good to be online dating and to also be out in person online dating is not for everybody I'm not going to shove it in your face tell you that look you should be doing this i feel as though it's a good way to kill two birds with one stone if you're doing them both simultaneously you know if you're wanting to date high quality men men who are successful who are high achievers and you know that they are on this website then you should be on that website do you, do you see what i'm saying and you should be out there in person as well so i feel as though it's about doing you know them both simultaneously for me right now i am on hinge a few of you suggested that i try it out and i have been trying it out i'm quite i'm quite pleased with it it seems decent so i wanted to bring that to you as a suggestion for someone to maybe try out hinge i would recommend so try hinge out and see lots of women had have had 
Lots of women have had good experiences with Tinder. Most of my experiences on there have been good. I'm not on there anymore though. But you can try that out if you haven't already, if you want to. And just don't meet my guy from my last story time if you if you can help it. Yeah, I feel as though that's about as much planning as you can possibly do. You can literally just make the most of yourself and go out into the places that you know that the men who you want are going to be in right so that's the most you can do if you know that men are online dating and you want to meet men then naturally go online dating because you can't meet them outside that very easily at the moment so i hope that this video was helpful i really do actually and i hope that this video has alleviated any stress worries concerns that you may have that you are still going to waste your time that you're going to continue wasting this year the same way you felt like you wasted previous years and last year which was obviously not your fault with that being said i'm going to love you and leave you here and i'll see you ladies in my next video instagram right here on the screen also in the description box and don't forget to check out my femininity playlist because i have lots of videos on there that i don't feel like all of you have even watched and there are questions that you ask and like there are videos on it so check out the femininity playlist and my dating playlist and i will see you in my next video